In a shocking turn of events at the African Union summit in Ethiopia last month, Israel's top representative was unexpectedly kicked out, sparking a diplomatic controversy. Israel didn't mince words, pointing the finger at South Africa and Algeria, accusing them of acting out of hate. However, South Africa firmly denied these allegations, clarifying that the African Union had yet to decide Israel's observer status and was not permitted to be present. Israel has expressed displeasure with South Africa once again, this time over its decision to downgrade Israel's status earlier in the week. Welcome, this is Rain Smith, and you're watching the New Africa Channel. The Parliament of South Africa has decided to downgrade the status of Israel's mission from an embassy to a liaison. The National Freedom Party proposed the resolution, which was passed on Wednesday with 209 votes in favor and 94 against. Ahmed Munzur Sheikh Imam of the National Freedom Party initiated the motion, and it garnered support from the ruling African National Congress Party. Out of the 400 members in parliament, 52% of lawmakers supported the resolution. Although the parliament's vote holds political weight, it does not carry legal force. For the vote to be implemented as policy, the South African government must adopt the motion and notify Israel. Only then would the official downgrade be enacted. The NFP stated that the resolution is intended to demonstrate solidarity with the Palestinians. The party expressed its delight that the draft resolution to downgrade South Africa's embassy in Israel was passed by parliament, adding that some may argue that downgrading the embassy in Israel would hinder the capacity to serve as a neutral mediator in the conflict. However, the NFP maintains that neutrality is not a possibility in the face of oppression and human rights abuses. According to a statement from the NFP, the late South African leader who ended apartheid, Nelson Mandela, would have been proud of the vote. This is a moment Madiba Nelson Mandela would be proud of. He always said our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of Palestinians at Reed. This resolution demands accountability from Israel. As South Africans, we refuse to stand by while apartheid is being perpetrated again. On Wednesday, Israel's foreign ministry responded and criticized the decision made by the parliament. The foreign ministry stated that it is regrettable for South Africa to deteriorate relations when other African and Muslim countries are strengthening their ties with Israel for their mutual benefit. The ministry added that such a move would harm South Africa's reputation and its interests. Along with Algeria, South Africa also declined to accept Israel as an observer state to the African Union in 2021. During the annual summit of the African Union last month, Sharon Barley, the deputy director of Israel's Foreign Ministry Africa Division, was escorted out of the hall by guards. According to an Israeli diplomatic source who spoke with Al Monitor, the government in Pretoria has no intention of following up on the decision made by parliament, and they do not support it. As of Wednesday, the Israeli embassy in Pretoria had not received any notification regarding the issue. Another Israeli diplomatic source suggested that the parliament's decision was influenced by internal political considerations with the ANC feeling pressured and Israel paying the price. This decision contrasts with the general trend on the African continent of improving ties with Israel. For instance, in 2019, Israel renewed diplomatic relations with Chad, and in 2020, Morocco and Sudan joined the Abraham Accords to normalize ties with Israel, although Sudan has not yet signed the accords. Since the end of apartheid in 1994, relations between Israel and South Africa have been complicated due to Pretoria's support of Palestinians and connections with Palestinian groups. In 2018, amid tensions on the Gaza border, South Africa chose to downgrade its mission in Israel. Rather than recalling its ambassador, the ambassador at the time remained in charge of the embassy in Tel Aviv until completing his mission in 2019. No new ambassador has been appointed since then, and the South African Embassy is currently led by a charged affairs. Do you think South Africa's decision went too far or was this act necessary? Let us know what you think. Be sure to like the video, comment, share, and subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.